Well, Diana, lots of nomination battles get ugly, but this one is a real train wreck. It's already taken down a top Conservative Party official who tried to give his fiance the inside track on a nomination. Now, the Writing Association is denouncing that fiance, who is a sitting MP, saying she is abusive. It's all about Eve Adams, that is, a prominent MP who's decided to run in a whole new riding. Right now, she's the MP for Mississauga Brampton South, but she wants to run next time in the new riding of Oakville North Burlington. Of course, she needs to win the nomination. Enter her fiancé, Dimitri Soudas, a veteran Harper aide who was bounced as party director because he was supposed to be neutral on nominations and was not. You know, they're campaigning with this sense of entitlement in the sense that, you know, she is making comments like, I was asked by the Prime Minister to run. Um, which totally, you know, we, we have no evidence of that whatsoever. Jeff Knoll is on the local Conservative Association, which wrote an angry letter to the Prime Minister saying that Adams was verbally abusive to members of the local board, that she abused her MP's mailing privileges to bombard the writing with mail, and that she misused the party database to target supporters. Literally, she was getting advantages that even the association didn't have, for example, having access to membership lists before we even had them. The MP who now represents the area says it's a bad idea to make enemies on the local board. Everybody should always try to make sure that if you're going to be seeking the candidacy or if you're the MP for the area, that you continue with a constructive relationship with your board because you need to have it because they're the ones who are planning for election readiness. As the Prime Minister asked the member from Mississauga Brampton South to step down, the Prime Minister ignored that question in the House, but he has ordered a review of the complaints about Adams. And suddenly Conservatives have begun leaking more bad news about her. This gas station owner voted Conservative, but is now going public about Adams making a fuss and blocking traffic over a $6 car wash that she found unsatisfactory. This was a situation where an individual went out of their way to intentionally disrupt my business for their own self-serving purpose. Adams did not respond to requests for comment, and of course a spat over a car wash isn't too significant. What is significant is the fact that it's Conservatives who are now making that public. Apparently, just days after her fiancé got cut, the knives are out for Eve Adams, Diana. Thanks, Terry. Terry Molesky in Ottawa tonight.